Good morning, Yarnabees. How are you today? Ah, today I'm hoping to get to the chiropractor because I'm a little sore, <laughs> a little bit sore. Uh, yeah, so I got to go do that. And then I've got a few other errands to do today. But I did get uh, another dog blanket done. I got another two dog blankets done. So now I've just got one more to do. That takes a long time. It really does. But I think this other one that I just did, hang on. I think this one I just did is too small. I may have to keep going. So I think it's kind of cute. But yeah, I think I may have to do some more rounds of the black just to make it a bit bigger. This is the thinner of all of them. So, yeah, I think now I'm looking at it. I'm going to have to do that. <clears throat> Darn it, thought I was finished the third one. <laughs> nope. So, oh, so yeah, so I've got one more dog blanket to do. Oh, I was dreaming crochet last night. I came up with this idea to do this, um, uh, like a shoulder from a shoulder to the elbow kind of wrap um, with uh, a drawstring at the top for like a thick one like almost like with bait with a um, uh, blanket yarn um, for like winter weddings and stuff like that <laughs> I don't know I was dreaming about it anyway so who knows maybe I'll come up with it I don't know. <laughs> um, anyways, today is another day of Vlogist on the Cheap where Sandy Duda and I, uh, Sandy from Left is Right Crochet, and I are doing a gift a day for August from the dollar store. And I've only got a few left. And I have been instructed that um, the one George's and I think she meant this one um, that we need to open together so I'm going to wait until the very last day for those ones so yeah so let's choose today this one oh this one's heavy hmm. okay like, that's like a brick <laughs> All right, crinkling. Oh, good. It's mini writing tablet. Oh, George is trying to call me. Hold on. There we go. Mini tablet, uh, writing tablets. I'm totally needing these. And George is probably going to try and steal these because he always has... Um, pads of paper around so that he can write down addresses and stuff like that. So I'm going to have to try and keep these away from him. And they're pink. He doesn't care if they're pink or not. <laughs> He'll try and steal them. <laughs> yes. This is a great idea. Great idea. Thank you, Sandy. Yes, because we I'm always like I'll come up with something I'll be sitting at my chair or whatever and I'll go oh and then I'll try and look and I never have my pads of paper I don't know why it's like driving me crazy now I've got all these pads of paper that I got and uh, I've got them all sitting right beside my chair so there we go <laughs> um I wasn't going to do this, but <clears throat> yesterday when I did my video, I was really reluctant to bring anything up, but I had gotten some comments about why I seemed to be kind of sad. And <clears throat> um, so that's why I mentioned what I was going through. And for the most part, I've gotten comments that have been supporting me and loving me and everything but I've had a few comments that um, I just wanted to clarify something and then I know I don't have to explain and I know I don't um, 
my choices are my choices uh, and I don't have to to defend myself at all but I feel that um, some people may get the wrong idea so I want to just clarify um, I'm not an anti-vaxxer okay I totally believe in some vaccines, right? Like if it wasn't for some vaccines, a lot of people would be dead, you know, with all the <clears throat> polio and, and stuff like from stuff that's been from way back, measles, mumps, like all that kind of stuff. I totally, I, I have no problem with that. What I have a problem with is that the government and our health care is trying to force us into getting the vaccine. Okay, it's not a choice anymore. Um, the flu shot is a choice every year. I don't get the flu shot, right? My immune system is pretty good. Um, so I think that this should be a choice as well. Uh, so, I mean, I understand that there's the pandemic and everything, but you know what? So is the flu. So is pneumonia. You know, it's not, maybe not a pandemic, but people die every day from pneumonia and the flu. And that hasn't been deemed a pandemic. People die from cancer every year. That hasn't been deemed as a pandemic. Um, I, I, you know, these, these other vaccines have been tested for years and years. They can't be on the market for 10 years. Um, this vaccine was not. It was rushed. And it really makes me nervous. <clears throat> so if it had been vetted through, like, all the stuff like they say it is but it's i don't trust that um it it took them a year to get this out less than maybe less than that to get this vaccine out and i just i really i i don't in my gut I, it scares the crap out of me um but the I'm like I say, I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I, I totally believe in medicine and, and vaccines. Uh, this one, not so much. But it, like I say, it's not the vaccine that's really bothering me. It's the fact that I'm being forced. That's what's bothering me. So I just wanted to clarify that. Um, and I know I didn't have to, but I, I just really felt like I needed to clarify that. If you got the vaccine, great. <clears throat> you know, if I pray that you don't have any issues with the vaccine. You know, um, I completely support all of you in your decision, right? And that's the thing. It should be a decision, you know, not a forced decision. So that's my rant. That's all I'm going to say about it. Um, that's where I stand. Okay. So thank you so much for joining me. I've got one, two, three, four days left. Four days left? I think it's four days left of the Vlogist on the Cheap. And I love you all. My heart is with all of you. It really is. Um, we, we, you know, God, just, I, I just hate all this. It's dividing us. It's dividing us. And that's not the way it should be, you know? So <clears throat> anyway, I love you all. I will talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.